Thanks for joining us for another V Time Sports Special. We're lucky to be joined by young Gloucestershire stars James Bracey and Miles Hammond for today's fun quiz. So, hope you're enjoying. Right, hi everyone, it's Darren from VTI Sports. We've got two young Gloucestershire stars, James Bracey and Miles Hammond with us. Hi boys, how are we doing? Yeah, very well, Longy. All uh, yeah. recovered from waiting for Hamo, it's a bit late. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> yeah. I think it's probably always fair to say at the moment, me and James have been waiting for 20 minutes for Hamo. It was taking a while getting him onto this interview in the first place, and then he decided. Well, you know, 15, 15k won't run itself, will it, Longy? <laughs> well, but you're talking to the wrong man. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, apologies. I, I apologise <laughs> profusely. Yeah, no, you're dedicated to the cause, mate. So me and James have been going through a few of the answers beforehand, mate, just to get back at you. Fantastic. <laughs> Are you both well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah doing well. All right, enjoying the weather. It's good. As we were saying before, and it's nice that uh, the weather's been like this. I mean, be absolutely shocking if it wasn't. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's been a, a good uh, addition, I think. It's been like a record month, hasn't it? And it's mm -hmm. lockdown, which is, yeah, coincidental. Mm -hmm. Very good. And Amber, you've been up to, uh, you've been doing your baking and live drawings now, I believe. Yeah. A bit of baking, um, some sourdough treats, and then um, yeah, trying to get decent at drawing, which is um, yeah, proving tough work. But I'll get there. I'm, I'm sure. You've got confidence in you, mate. Right, are you, are you are you up for this? Or you you said you were you were born ready before Adam? Is that you? I'm motivated as ever. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't have a clue what his answers are going to be anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this could be... <laughs> I don't have a clue what yours are going to be. <laughs> it could be an interesting one. Right, we'll start off. James, you've had more time to prepare, so yeah. a little better we start with you. So who was Hamo's sporting hero? <sighs> I mean, I'm going to stay... We're looking at cricket. Yeah, we're looking at cricket. Okay, I'm going to go with Brian Lara. Cool. Purely because he's been trying to model his, model his uh, technique off of him in the previous weeks. Apparently his lockdown's been plenty of watching Lara joust and just working on that big bat swing. That, that would Lots be correct. Ball by ball 400 against England. <laughs> <laughs> so early, early, early point of the bag there for James. Well done, mate. Yeah, thank you. Okay, over two miles. What is James's favourite food? I'm going to go beef Wellington. It's close. It's close. Steak. I mean, it, yeah. T I mean, technically, it is right because beef Wellington is made up of steak. But you've just been more specific. There you go. Well, that's right then, isn't it? It involves steak, so yeah. I, I reckon we should probably give that to him because there's a steak in a beef Wellington, isn't there? Um, beef okay. is beef. Fill it steak, yeah. Yeah, yeah cheers, lads. It's good effort, Easy, that, mate. easy as. <laughs> I was tempted to give you a half point, but James is feeling in, in charitable mood, so one each. <laughs> right, fav same question for you. James, what is Hamo's favourite food? Well, I mean, the amount of bacon he's been doing, uh, a chocolate or cardamom bun would probably be up there at the moment. <laughs> No. I can't even remember what I put down for this. Oh. Carbonara. <laughs> we would have given you a time. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, I can accept that because he <laughs> constantly <laughs> makes that carbonara. Bake. Think, you don't bake carbonara, mate. No, I said make. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you answered a bit, bit hastily there, mate. Yeah, well, I should have probably <laughs> thought he's, every time I've been around there, he's made it. So uh, he does make a good one, to be fair. Okay, chance for Hamo to take the lead. If James could play in any historical cricket team in the history of cricket, which one would he choose? I mean, it's got to be... It's got to be the 2005 Ashes England team, wow, I'd imagine. 
Well, I just, first of all, won the, won the Ashes for the first time in 18 years or whatever. Um, and it just looked a lot of fun to be part of. And an amazing series as well. Would there be the reasons, James? Yeah, that would be the reasons. I'd be the Simon Jones replacement, just reversing them back at the pads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Never heard anything more ridiculous in my life. <laughs> James, Correct. Right. Two, two one. Right, James. What is Miles' favourite band? Uh, band. Who does how I listen to? Um, I'm going down with rock. Some scars. rock yeah, I'm going with the red hot chili on, peppers. Man. I told you, mate. I was gonna go with, gonna stitch I was gonna go with the red hot chili. Straightforward about that. Pure, purely because whenever we room together on away days, his alarm every morning is the Zephyr song by Red, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So I'd, I'd go with that. Well, good choice, Samo. Yeah, getting a good insight into you boys here. Let's know what your alarm tunes are. Yeah. So, well, yeah, this well, is good. You, you're doing well. You're both doing well. Okay, Samo, what is James's favourite cricket shot? Oh, inside half for one. <laughs> forward, forward defensive inside half one surely <laughs> no come on <laughs> oh, are you no. I can't imagine anyone have ever described the favourite shot like that uh, to be fair now he said well, that it is, it is a good one we do love it yeah, Mount, he goes on about it in the nets he plays a forward defensive in inside, inside half six one <laughs> uh, uh, to be honest, mate, I think he's just trying to be cool. He's probably thinking it is that, but I've got to, <laughs> got to say something else from my public. Actually, did he say a big driver on Seven Stump? No, because that's not my favourite shot, is it? <laughs> that's just my most compulsive shot. The answer was <laughs> yeah, the, the sweep. <laughs> the sweep? Yeah, yeah, yeah so you do nail the sweep, yeah. Yeah, yeah I okay. do, just uh, every ball. So, two each. Oh, every ball, is it? Yeah. Right. Um. <laughs> James, what sport would Hamo want to be the number one in the world at apart from cricket? Mm. <laughs> I've absolutely not a clue. Um, I'm going to go with fishing or angling because. Um, he likes to go away in his end of season break with his with his dad and go fly fishing. He's never caught a fish, but he likes to do it anyway. I haven't, yeah, no, four years now I haven't caught a fish. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's lovely though. Rugby. Rug uh, yeah, he claims he used to play back in the day, but I'm not sure. Well. Nowadays he ain't got the physical presence, I don't think. I was the playmaker. Just making absolute plays. <laughs> Twenty minute passes, both hands. Oh, Gun tackler, good sidestep. Yeah, you yeah, fishing man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. If me and Jimmy came came up together against each other on a rugby pitch, the we'll dish and water, I'd run circles around him. Well, you would, because I played hooker when I was younger, so. <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Same question for you, mate. What would James's number one, what would he want to be number one in the world at sports, apart from cricket? Either, either golf or football, really. I'm going to go football. A Rovers player, probably. Dude, you're not the number one in the world if you're playing for Rovers, are you? Well, you never know. You can <laughs> You could just be the Michael Jordan of the Rovers. Very game. true, very true. Yeah, he went I for golf. Right. Golf. He went for golf. Yeah. Oh. That's your chance to take the lead there. So halfway, two each. Right, James. We asked Hamo to um, to describe you in three words. So you got <laughs> three options, okay? Okay. Did he say you are ready, willing, and able? <laughs> Thoughtful, measured finishing, or plan, prepare, execute. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> um, I can't. I don't think it's the middle one. Okay. I'd probably go. Plan, prepare, execute. 
I'd probably go with plan, prepare, execute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Correct. How, how did you manage to narrow it down to that one? I, I just think as everyone, they all just think I'm an absolute badger at Gloss and they just think <laughs> I just love hitting balls. So you do. The, <laughs> the, and just like a very, you know, by the book, they say. So plan, prepare, execute seems to fit that mold, I think. Right, okay. Right, where are we next? Miles, what is James's favourite band? This is a hard one for you, Hanno, because yeah. I've gone with my all time. I don't think I have a clue here, but all time favourite band. It's probably like the Thatcher's End at the Rovers Ground or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go Arctic Monkeys. Good shout. Mumford and Sons. What? Mumford and Sons. Mumford and Sons. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Fair play. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Terrible music taste. It would would have been Jerry, but he ain't in a band, is he? Jerry Cinnamon, yeah. Yeah, he's he's all right, isn't he? He's a bit novel, though, isn't he? Yeah. Bit uh, niche. I wouldn't have them on my um, morning alarm, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers, is <laughs> Great band. Okay, right, number six. The funniest player in the Gloucestershire changing room, according to Hammer. Funniest according to Hammer, this is hard. Because you could look at this in a few different ways. I don't know which, which angle he's gone with. Um, funniest. I'm, uh, I got narrowed down to sort of could be Smudge, Higgins, Buren, Dent, those, one of those four, depending on what. Hammer's got a strange sense of humour, so I don't really know. Strange sense of humour? What do you mean? Just, just like, not strange, but like different. It's a bit weird, aren't you? Go <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I'm going to go. As your agent, so I'm just saying, don't answer that question, Hammer. No, I'm gonna don't... go. I'm gonna go with Higgins. Who did you say, Hammer? Smudge. Oh, yeah, he is. He he was. He, he was always, me up. He, cra- he cracks me up, especially when he was with uh, Nima Barnett as well. Just, <laughs> yeah, it just used were. to be co- comical. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number six. Chance to draw level here, Hammer. If James had a superpower, what would it be? Would it be to read minds, to fly, or to be invisible? Read minds. I think that's what you said, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I just realised I just put the three answers there. So, yeah, three each equalised. Well done, Hammer. Two questions left. What is the funniest moment on the pitch that Hammer's seen while playing cricket for Gloucester? And I'm hopeful you run with pitch at the same time. I, I give you a yeah, I'm going to give you 2018. 2018. So that was season before last. So I don't know. Just think about the most outrageous bit of sledging you've ever, ever heard. Um, was it aimed at me? I couldn't possibly say. Okay, I think I said probably. It was, it was involving two players, one of which was a Gloucester player. <laughs> was, it, was it at the Swalek? Was it an encounter between Higgins and Waggy? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna repeat what was said, but that well, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. quite extraordinary. <laughs> it was one of the most ridiculous things. Ever. <laughs> yeah, it was just. No one thing. needs to repeat that ever again. Really. No, but Graham Wag, Ryan Higgins, that was yeah. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> quite. We'll move, we'll move swiftly on from that. Probably sounds the best. We don't want to get taken yeah. off. Right, Miles. If James was primarily a bowler, would he be an out-and-out pace man? A 2020 specialist seamer or a mystery spinner? 
Um, what was the middle one? The 2020 specialist. Yeah. Yeah, I would go for the 2020 specialist with his odd action, weird angles. Good sort of loser's wrist leg leg cutter that um, had Daniel Lawrence on his way. He'd want to be a mystery spinner. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to be a mystery spinner? Thing. It's because I, I can't uh, bowl spin. Sorry, I, that's why I'm not a mystery spinner. I heard you. I heard you down as um, wanting to be the next Benny Howe. Yeah, well, I mean, that would be nice. <laughs> but, you know, mystery spinners—they just get all the gigs, don't they? Yeah, true. True that. True that. Fair play. I want to be a bit more like you, Miles. Like me? Yeah. I'm not sure I've got much mystery. Oh, well, you got that. You got <laughs> <laughs> the little leg spinner. Yeah. Run off a ball of leggy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you get this one, you've, you've won. So, what we've tended to do on this, if you get one first time, you get a point. You get a second guess to try and get half a point. So, yeah. very ideal dinner guess from Hamo. If you one of them, I would pretty much say <laughs> you're no chance worth straight away. But, um, <laughs> number two, you, yeah, you've got a chance. So, who would be his very ideal dinner guests? <laughs> Um, I have not got a clue <laughs> whatsoever. We've um, got a sportsman there. We've got someone out of the entertainment industry, and the other ones um, uh, are famous. No, come on, Longy, you can't. You yeah. can't be given. He's not going to know that. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go with Brian Charles because I lo- know you'd love to pick his brains. Um, <laughs> I'll go with Anna Kendrick, because I know you're a big Pitch Perfect fan. Um, <laughs> me too. Do you know what? Perfect. Um, and I have absolutely no idea on this last one. I'm really intrigued to see what, what the hell it is. Yeah, yeah no yeah. point. You've, le- you've left the gate open there for Hamo to, to equalise. Do you know what, though? Anna Kendrick would be a great dinner guest. Yeah. I thought you were going to try and distance yourself from a pitch perfect tamo there. You've been said you've embraced it. Sorry? So you're right. I thought you were going to distance yourself from a pitch perfect. Instead no, no, it. no. It's honestly one of the best um, movie sets of all time, that. Yeah, I've got to agree. Mm. My, my wife would agree with that. She's a big fan. Yeah. So the answers were can you remember? Me? Uh, yeah, I can. Do you want me to? Yeah. Spill them. Um, so it was Freddie Flintoff. Yep. Yeah. Ramesh Ranganathan. Yeah. And um, Norman Foster. <laughs> Norman, Foster. <laughs> Norman Foster. Is he an architect or something? Yeah, a very famous architect. Oh, God. I just thought I'd try that because I didn't, I didn't want it to have, you to have it all your own way. Yeah, because long he said, he said, you're not going to even know one of these. And I was like, it's going to be some sort of politician or architect I've never heard of. He did politician? Say- I've never had a politician on my dinner table. Oh, he did yeah. say architect. He did say architect. Well, I was thinking that's not going to... It's obviously going to narrow it down, but... He's going to give it. Yeah, true, actually. You're probably going to said that. Yeah. <laughs> right, this is the chance for the equaliser. You've got to get it in. You've got any one of the three he's got, same thing, but forget the point, you've got to get it with your first guess. Right. Oh, God. I'll go Jack Russell first. No. You've got a cricket, you've got a cricket, a footballer, and. Um, I don't know, entertainer. <laughs> I'm kind of guessing. An entertainer? I don't know, a political entertainer. Yeah, he's a bit of just like a public figure, Hammond. Not Donald Trump. Yeah, close. <laughs> Not yeah, really a close. Um, Oh, close is it? Ah. Well, no, I put him in a similar bracket, though. Yeah, as a human. What, Nigel Farage? No. <laughs> 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 <Am> I <not? laughs> we fell out of his chair. Yeah. Am I allowed one more guess? 
Yeah, I, I um, imagine it would probably go more, more around the cricket or a footballer. Yeah, I think. Um, what about Linesy? I don't even know his first name. Yeah, from uh, no, I mean the same, the same historic Rovers team, but different player. Oh, Tommy Nichols. No. <laughs> All I remember was going to watch a Rovers game with you and your dad, and your dad just going, Tommy Nichols played 50 times, not scored, but he's a striker. Yeah, yeah I know. Uh, no, he's famous. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want him anywhere Martin, near my house. Right, yeah. That's his word, mate. Kumar Sangakari, Ricky Lambert, uh, and, and Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan, yeah. He'd spice well, it up, wouldn't he? He'd just spice it up, innit? Just his Twitter cracks me up. Everyone just yeah. absolutely hoses him. It, it, yeah, he would be an interesting dinner guest. I'm he sure would, you'd yeah. have a lot, lot to talk um, about. Congratulations, James. Much deserved victory there, 4 3. Yeah, well placed. Well placed. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that, lads. Yeah, it was yeah, very fun. enjoyable. Thanks, Tommy. It's all right. Thank you for joining us. Really appreciate that. And uh, take care, lads, and we will we'll catch up with you very soon. Cheers, Dan. Cheers, take care. See you in a bit. Cheers, Hammond. Thanks for joining us again. I hope you really enjoyed that. Thank you to James and Miles again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got plenty more content coming on a weekly basis. So hopefully see you soon. Thanks. Bye.